So you've been diagnosed with sleep apnea. You've got your CPAP machine. Your next visit needs to be with your eye doctor. Yes, your eye doctor. A sleep problem affecting your eyes? Let me tell you how. Obstructive sleep apnea is the most common breathing sleep disorder out there. When you have sleep apnea, essentially you stop breathing or partially stop breathing during the night. This is not allowing oxygen to get to the rest of your body. This affects everything, high blood pressure, diabetes, and guess what, it's affecting your eyes. A stroke to the optic nerve, glaucoma can be affected. Those retinal vessels need to give your eye oxygen. The most common things I see, however, are related to the eyelids, dry eye, and in chronic infections. So let me explain how this is happening. Floppy eyelid syndrome is one of the most common things associated with sleep apnea. We're not really sure why, but what happens is your upper lids are a little bit rubbery. They don't provide the protection that they are designed to do. So when you're laying in bed, sleeping at night, your eyelids will evert, they'll flip open, or they'll just not provide that protection. This can cause you to get debris underneath the eyelids. You can scratch your cornea, which is incredibly painful. It's gonna affect vision. In addition, the mask, the CPAP machine, is the standard of care for sleep apnea. This is gonna keep you breathing throughout the night. Unfortunately, these masks are not designed to fit perfectly on your face. They get jostled around. Oxygen will exit the mask and go into your eyes. This is gonna dry them out. To protect your eyes from the oxygen from the mask, we wanna have some barriers, some protection. Ointments. Thicker gel drops are two of the mainstays that I like to talk about. Moisture goggles. These are goggles specifically designed to protect your eyes from the environment and also keep moisture in, but they're very effective with people with a CPAP machine. Lastly, at the very least, get tape, close those eyelids, provide a barrier of protection from the environment around you when you're sleeping. Now, the next thing to remember is, when's the last time you cleaned that CPAP machine? Well, bacteria will build up through in that within all the pipes inside the mask, if it gets jostled, that bacteria is gonna get thrown into your eye. This is why you keep getting pink eye or infections, a lot of debris on your lids and lashes when you wake up in the morning. So we gotta make sure that if you do get an infection, you get in, you get seen, we can provide an antibiotic, get you feeling better, and then if it keeps happening, we can make sure we come up with a better sterilization process to clean that mask. These are all little things you can do to help keep your body healthy. Sleep apnea is something that can be treated and controlled. It's gonna affect your eyes, but we'll do everything we can to keep you functioning at the highest level. So I love talking about your eyes. I love everything that's happening in the world of optometry. If you wanna know more, like our channel, subscribe, ring that bell, tune in, we'll have more stuff for you coming up.